What's up, Game Changers? This is session one of the NBA playoffs. And we're going to get straight into it. This is session one containing game one of Philadelphia and the Nets, Celtics and the Hawks, Knicks and the Cavs, and Kings and the Warriors. This is game one of all of these games. And yo, it was crazy. This bro let me just start off by saying i have not watched this much basketball in a long time so when i'm giving y'all this content and it's like it's hours i've been watching hours of basketball to give y'all this content but we're gonna start with the 76ers philadelphia and the brooklyn nets uh i'm gonna give y'all just my opinion on it my synopsis synopsis of the game and just my player of the game so with philadelphia and the nets um yeah it 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 is what it was like joel and b james harden they they played a great game not even a great game they played a good game be, but it's the brooklyn nets i mean like what else can you ask for? I really, and I don't want to disrespect the Brooklyn Nets. And coming into, like, my predictions that I gave on my last podcast, I, I said when I was giving these predictions that I was going to give each team a game. Because this season of the NBA has been super spectacular and something we haven't seen in a few seasons, in my opinion. I think it is it is superb the way teams have been playing so good and so competitively. Even the Magic sometimes this, even, this season, the Orlando Magic has been playing like super good, beating good teams. So the competition in this league has been superb out of this world. And I think it's been one of the like best seasons we've seen, honestly. So just out of respect of that, I'm going to give the teams like the Brooklyn Nets or the Atlanta Hawks like at least one game. So like out of this whole series, I give them one game, but they might get swept just watching this first game with the with the Sixers and the Nets um it was just it, it was just you could see who was a seasoned veteran and who wasn't like Mikael Bridges uh was giving them some go I don't know where Dinwiddie was at he just had this whole confrontation with Kyle Kuzma an NBA champion and like now you're not showing up in the game that y'all need bro I mean, every game y'all need, especially with what, uh, they're the number two seed in the East. Like, y'all need this game, but that's pretty much what it was. I mean, if y'all seen the game, y'all seen what I've seen, it's just a top tier team beating up on a lower tier team. But like I said, uh, the Brooklyn Nets, they deserve all the respect because they, they're, they made it to the playoffs without KD, without Kyrie, without James Harden. They made it to the playoffs. I mean, they contributed to some of those games, but they still made it. They could have fell off and lost like 15, 16 straight, but that they didn't do that. They continue to win games. So shout out to the Brooklyn Nets, but the 76ers won that game. Um, the player of that game is James Harden. He had 23 points, 13 assists, and four rebounds. So shout out to James Harden. He was my player for that game. Moving on to the second game, the Celtics. And the Hawks. And when I tell y'all, bro, like, as we move on from game to game, it gets better. It only gets better. I recommend you watch NBA basketball, bro. NBA playoff basketball at that. Uh, we got the Celtics and the Hawks. The Celtics, this is just another, like, it's the same thing as the 76ers and the Brooklyn Nets. But it's similar, but... At the same time, the Hawks may give them more of a go than the Brooklyn Nets would give the 76ers. But at the same time, it's a little similar because you have Jalen Brown, you have Jason Tatum, you have uh, Marcus Spart, Brogdon, um, you have like just them boys over there playing super well. So it's like when you have all that as a as a collective, like Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum themselves is like 
super overwhelming, especially for a team like the Hawks. So, and the defense wasn't there. I think what the Hawks need to do, because I think they can win a game, maybe two, but I think what the Hawks need to do is play better defense, continue the offensive board. Like, that's definitely a highlight from this game that I got from them. They definitely got them offensive boards for real they got a lot of them so but it still wasn't enough to help them win I mean Trey Young that's another factor he needs to play better he he really needs to play better um DeJounte, uh, DeJounte Murray I'm saying I'm butchering his name but he needs to play better also and they just they need to play they they butts off in order to win this series honestly I ain't even gonna lie like they need to score 40 each a game if they want to beat the Boston Celtics I that go back to my last spot and look at my predictions because I gave them I think the Boston is gonna win but like I said out of respect for all of these teams every team in the playoffs, including the lower seeds, I give them respect because it was a hell of a season and everybody played their butts off. So I'll give the Hawks one game. They'll probably squeeze in one game, but I don't, I don't think they'll win. And my player of the game is Jalen Brown, 29 points, 12 rebounds, and three assists. He played his butt off, man. Next game, the Knicks and the Cavs. Boy, when I was watching this game, man, it was up and down. And this is, this is, before I even start anything, this is a public, public service announcement to the Cleveland Cavaliers. I'm talking to y'all. Look, look, here. Look at me here. This is the NBA playoffs. Donovan Mitchell has been here, but I don't know about the rest of y'all. All right? So let me explain something to y'all. The rest are not going to call certain calls. The weak fouls that y'all got during the regular season, they not going to call that at all. So stop complaining and play basketball. Play hard and play with some heart. They not calling that. All right, the little weak stuff you going to look for a foul, they not calling that, bro. I'm telling you right now, the rest, is, they not calling that. So stop looking for it. And I'm talking to Cleveland because this whole game, bro, I'm not going to lie, like, they was really, like, looking for calls, and they was not getting them. But the reason for that is because one one reason is because it's the playoffs. Second reason is because the Knicks, they play hard. They come at you. They're going to elbow you. They're going to do certain things. They're going to get down and dirty with you, and you got to get down and dirty with them. Cleveland, I'm talking to you straight. Y'all have to do better because y'all could have won this game. Like, I, I chose the Knicks to win this series because I see Jalen Brunson as, and I wouldn't say unstoppable, but towards, like, towards Cleveland, towards this specific team, the Cleveland Cavaliers, I don't think y'all can stop him. So, like, that's why I think the Knicks are going to win the series. But in order for y'all to win it, y'all have to play better defense. Y'all have to double Jalen Brunson. Y'all have to double him. Because his footwork is elite. And he, you've seen what he did to y'all down the stretch. He made a bucket to put it out of reach, and y'all lost. Like, for real, for real. So, hey, go back to the drawing board. I think this this series is going 6-7. This is a series that's going 6-7. What a game. The game was spectacular. Julius Randle played well. Donovan Mitchell played well. Darius Garland, you need to play better. Like, you need to play better in order for y'all to win. Um, Donovan Mitchell, he can't score 40, 50 a game. You feel? I mean, he can do that, but say if he do that, y'all win the series, going into the next series. Who y'all going to be playing? Probably Milwaukee. He, he going to be gassed. Like, help him. Garland, you need to help him. The player for that game, for me, surprisingly, is Josh Hart. He has 17 points and 10 rebounds. I You would think it would be Jalen Brunson, the amount of praise I just gave him. But Josh Hart, he sprained his ankle in the fourth. Still came out there, played, got a bucket, got a rebound. He, got, he did important things, played great defense. On Donovan Mitchell, he did important things in this game, and it should not be overlooked. Josh Hart is the player of the game for me, but the game of the night, 
goes to the Warriors and the Kings. Oh my gosh. When I tell y'all, bro. Woo! The NBA playoffs are back. They are back. If y'all thought that the NBA playoffs were like down bad or not what they used to be, they're back. And this is just the first day. This is the first day. The Lakers ain't even played. And they're my favorite team. But this is the first day, bro. It's going back and forth. And just to let y'all know now, this series is going seven. This series is going seven games. The Kings and the Warriors is going seven games, bro. The way I just seen them play, bro, Malik, Monks, De'Aaron Fox, Sabonis, it, it wasn't like he wasn't getting going because the big man on the Warriors was locking him down. But Clay and stuff, they did that thing. But Malik Monk was resilient. De'Aaron Fox was resilient. You feel me? Like, they was going in a the hole. They wasn't scared. And that crowd was crazy. That felt like playoff basketball. When we talking about playoff basketball, go back and check the highlights if you didn't watch it. Warriors, Kings. That is playoff basketball. It probably wasn't the best defense in the world, but both sides was working hard. Both sides was giving it they all. And that's all we as fans ask for, bro. That's all we ask for. And they delivered. I'm watching every single game of that series. I mean, I have to. I already told y'all I was watching every single game of every single series into the finals. But giving y'all this content, man. Whoo. Man. I, I'm just, I'm just stunned, honestly, bro. Like, uh, let me get to this player in the game. De'Aaron Fox was the player of the game. He had 38 points with five assists, and he lit the beam at the end. That beam thing, Sacramento, y'all, Sacramento, y'all got something over there with the beam. Like, y'all really starting up. Started a whole new movement as far as Sacramento and the Kings organization and y'all history. Y'all are starting a new frontier for y'all history, and I love it, bro. I really do love it, and that's my synopsis of all the games. I'm going to check back in with y'all tomorrow on uh, the, the game ones tomorrow, man. Hey, stay in tune because I will be here all playoffs long, giving y'all my opinions on every single game, man. Stay tuned. Shout out to all the game changers out there. And we out of here.